Nice to meet you once again. This is Techtalanx and you're watching the video for Galaxy Note 3 features on Galaxy Note 2. Let's get started. Thanks to uh, Ele Team Electron for porting the Galaxy Note 3 features to Galaxy Note 2 to that ROM that's DN3 ROM. You can download it from the description below. And you, you have the uh, steps for installing and flashing the ROM have been given uh, by uh, XTA developers. So let's see what's all been added to the Galaxy Note 2 with the DNC ROM. Beginning with the lock screen, the lock screen has got the watercolor effect. Now, if I hover this pen, this pen over my screen, I can see I can see water waste traveling along with the S Pen. That's an AirView connected feature. Very nice. Looks quite good. Very premium. That's with the uh, watercolor effect on Galaxy uh, Note 2. The home screens have been uh, made very mature and the transitions have been improved. They are same uh, like the Galaxy Note 3. You can see uh, added Galaxy Note 3 uh, widgets. The S Planner widget, very nice. And there's the music widget, these are same. The weather widget has been uh, ported from Galaxy Note 3. It works absolutely fine. You can refresh pressing over here. There are uh, quite smooth and quite cool animations on the weather widget. The app drawer has been uh, very nice to us. It's quite smooth, uh, no lag. Pinching out, pinching in works absolutely fine. There are loads of apps added to the DNT ROM that's available on Galaxy Note 3, like the S apps, all S Health. Uh, scrapbook and there's uh, the sketchbook exclusive from Galaxy then there's story album and all those apps trip advisor s health s notes the new s note and all such apps the widget section is also very fast very smooth uh, loads of widget added straight away from Galaxy Note 3 to Galaxy Note 2 let's head to settings so you can see the layout is uh, the same as we get on Galaxy Note 3. That's device. Mm, this is uh, much similar to what we get on Galaxy Note 2 and Note 4.3 but this section has been uh, very nice and very um, important to the uh, DN3 ROM. The voice control for alarm clock incoming calls. And there's the S Pen settings. You can change the pen detection sound. Uh, this is what we were waiting uh, the 100 operation on Galaxy Note 2 it's uh, been available for all screens so let's show, let's show you how does it work so this is my home screen I'm swiping from the right edge slowly and then going back so it shrinks uh, in a small screen so that it become, becomes easy for one handed operation. So you can shift this window anywhere on the screen without any problem. You can use it with one hand. It's especially made for big phones like the Galaxy Note 2 and the Note 3. It's been very useful for me. At times when I'm using it one handed, you can also change the size of the window to one and then pressing on this will bring you back to the normal size. Then we have in the settings menu, we have edge assist which is unfortunately not working because it is a sensor, uh, as, as, it's a sensor associated app and which works only for Galaxy S4 and Galaxy Note 3. But then there's air command which is working flawlessly on Galaxy Note 2. Motions have been good, smart alert double tap all have been added in the 4.3 update and there's a smart screen. Smart screen come with, comes with smart scroll. I hope you're familiar with the smart scroll app and there's smart pause which works fine. There's increased touch sensitivity so that you can use the touch screen even when you are using gloves or any cloth on your hand. And let's see under 4.3. Quite nice red jelly bean. Not wasting much time in this mini game. You can see things are working absolutely very really fine. 
on the Galaxy Note 2. Task Manager is the same. Works fine. Excellent multitasking. The battery life is decent. It's the same which we get on the stock ROM. Uh, almost a day or one and a half uh, with moderate use and with heavy usage it lasts for about uh, 12 to 13 hours so that's uh, very nice battery life in the toggles menu you can see there are loads of toggles added there's a reading menu screen mirroring and there's s beam added to the you know, toggles menu there's air view air gestures hand free uh, smart score, smart stay, smart, smart stay, smart pause, uh, and all such of things. So let's begin up with the main feature of the ROM. That's the air commands. So you can see the window pops up when you press this button of S Pen in your screen, so like this, and then you can see the air commands popping up. Yes. Yes, memo and write and read Iglesias searching it on net and you can see the uh, action memory has been shrinked to a small icon which can move anywhere on the screen mm, oh yes I mean Enrique Iglesias uh, so here's all the info about Enrique Iglesias so you can see it works absolutely fine can save it like that then there's a scrapbooker screenwriter s finder so s finder is uh, used to find anything uh, that's present on your uh, on the phone on the device or you can also do a web search for that i'm writing batman here it goes like this there you can see Everything related to Batman has been displayed on my screen. There's uh, gallery, my files, scrapbook, video, and then you have uh, web history, and then you can do a web search for that. So, very fine, nice. I'm using it every day. It's uh, very useful for me. It's been a very great and very uh, flawless update after using the Android 4.3 stock ROM and then coming to the entry ROM. You can add folders normally. There's my files from Galaxy Note 3. The layout has been changed. Uh, it's way, uh, faster, way smoother than stock ROM. This help works absolutely fine. There's walking mate, um, food tracker, and uh, the latest version of S Help app available in Galaxy Note 3. Then the new S, uh, the new S note over here. So it's been saved. Swapping it down to show you the preview of what you have done in the no. So uh, very nice. The S voice works very fine. Hi Galaxy. How are you? So it works fine. The getting some change in the increase and decrease of volume of animations. Uh, that gives you a little of premium look. So then there's Calorie app. The Calorie app is still laggy, but we hope that. Uh, Team Electron will uh, soon fix this and make it much more smoother. Guys, unfortunately, the video player uh, shows post close on the ROM, uh, but which uh, was uh, not a problem in the previous versions, but it's been a problem in this version. But uh, we hope that Team Electron will uh, fix this as soon as possible in the future updates.